Hi, this is Derek Sadie with Blackboard's strategy and portfolio team. Just going to do a quick demo on the Pronto solution. So Pronto is a great inline chat tool. You can think about it like Slack for education. It works all by itself as a mobile app and a native web browser app, but it also is integrated into Blackboard Ultra Experience courses. So I'll just show you a little bit about what that looks like. It, I'm going to show from the administrative perspective, from the instructor perspective, and then as well as the student perspective. So let's first start with the administrative perspective. So here we are uh, at a system admin panel in a Blackboard Learn environment. And setting up Pronto is really simple from the administrative perspective. There's just there's basically two, two parts of it that will be guided, you'll be guided through from Pronto. Uh, let's take a look at what that is. The first thing you'll end up doing is you're going to configure Pronto as a REST API integration. So you can see I already have it here. And this is simple. You hit Create Integration and you fill this area out. Pronto will guide you through that, but essentially when it's done, it will look like this. You'll end up having an application ID. You'll have a dedicated Pronto-based system admin user that the REST API can log in on behalf of and behave as a system admin for the Pronto experience. Once the REST API is added, the only other thing that you'll do is you'll add the you'll add Pronto as an LTI tool provider. You can see that I have this here uh, already as LTI try Pronto.com. Uh, what I did there is I added this as a new tool by registering a provider domain. And then I went in here and, and managed placements. So I can show you what this looks like first. This is the provider domain. Uh, you can see I've got the key and secret and the parameters. All of this will be provided to you by Pronto that you'll enter for your system. And then once that's done, you can add a placement. And so I can go into Manage Placements. And you can see I've got one placement here. I did that by hitting Create Placement and filling this form out. What it looks like when it's done is I went through and I created a label. I gave it a name. I created my own handle. It is a course content tool. The icon is optional and is not supported in Ultra just yet, but will be. And then the URL, key secret, and the custom parameters are inherited then from the main registration of the LTI tool provider. You don't have to fill out key secret and custom parameters because it's global. So once, once that's added, the tool is now available for use by instructors and courses. And then if they use that tool, it is then available for students to use as well. So next we'll move on to the instructor perspective. Here I am as an instructor in an UltraNav course, and I'm ready to add the Pronto link uh, as an LTI link into my course. So I'm going to just do that right up here at the top of the course. I'm going to click the plus, and I'm going to go over to the content market. But what I'm going to focus on is not these content providers at the top, but it's the tools that are made available to me as an instructor by the sysadmin, one of which is this Pronto, Pronto course content tool. By clicking the plus, I'm going to add the link directly to the course. The only other thing I'm going to want to do here so my students can use it is change it to visible. And now the link is available for use. And the way that it works within Blackboard Ultra is the first time a user clicks this, it's going to sync up the course, and then it will work from that point forward. It's a best practice to have students click it once, at least through the browser, to make sure that their accounts are synced up. That's only a one-time thing. After that, they can access Pronto directly, either through the web interface or on their mobile device, which I'll show you in a moment. And everything will remain in sync for the duration of their course. As an instructor, when I click this link, I'm going to kind of have this flyover panel load, and it will take me directly in to Pronto. You'll notice that things like general biology and financial literacy and this college algebra, those show up and they've, they've already got things underneath them. What Pronto does is it syncs with the roster of enrollments from the user that is doing the clicking. So I am an instructor. I've clicked over from a Blackboard environment, and it's inherited not only me as a user, but then in my courses as well. Another great thing it does is course groups. So if you use course groups within Blackboard, any course groups that you've created uh, and any student enrollments that you've added to those groups will then port over automatically and be managed correctly in Pronto. And that's great for things like office hours or group projects. When students click over to Pronto, they will also see and be able to interact with any of the groups that they are a part of on the Blackboard side. There is no need for instructors to have to recreate them. Now that I'm in Pronto as an instructor, I can interact with my students. I can create new tasks and use all of the features that Pronto has to offer. At this point, you can just see my Blackboard course kind of hanging out here in the background. But this is the entire Pronto app that I can interact with. So I can greet my entire student uh, roster. 
I can also go ahead and do other things like add images, create links, and there's a series of other things that can be added. I can add in files and files to this to share. All of the media that is added is is saved for this group or the course enrollment, so I can always go back and look at that. I can also jump over to my office hours with my students. I can see which students have seen certain things. I can see who's online and who's not. Right now, I don't have any students online. I can also directly message individual students. So I could go in and I can see my message history with them as well. I have access to things like my direct message settings, notifications, any media that I may have shared. I have the ability to manage my profile. And I can also go in here and decide certain actions. I might create a brand new group, initiate a direct message, create a, tax, a task, or I can also do group codes. This functionality is basically the exact same thing for students, but I'm going to show you a little bit about what that looks like when I go in from the student perspective, and I'll also show the mobile uh, example as well. Here I am in that same course as a student. You'll notice that Pronto Course Content Tool link is there for me because my instructor added it. When I click it, same thing's going to happen with the instructor experience. The full screen kind of Pronto app will load natively within the browser in that flyover panel, and then I can interact with the class as, an, as a student. From here, I can also possibly, you know, share additional items as a student. So maybe I add in things that I have questions about. I'm confused about this. I can upload that and it's going to be made available to whoever I'm chatting with. In this case, it's the entire kind of general biology uh, course roster. And that image will be there, and then I can, I can interact with it, and so on. Um, another cool thing that kind of to show is what this looks like when compared to the mobile app. So, you know, I've, you've seen now the instructor experience as well as the student experience. And let's say I'm going in. I've already clicked this link as a, a student, so I'm all synced up on the Pronto side. But what happens when I want to use the mobile app? So, it's pretty simple to do, and I'm going to show you what that looks like right now. So here, I'm going to open up the Pronto app and kind of show side by side what the experience could look like between the browser and the mobile app. I'm going in as a first time student. So the first time I go into the app, it's going to ask me who it is, who, who I am. So first, I will register with the email that's attached to my user in Blackboard. It'll send a verification email that you'll get kind of right away. It's 914-832, set up. So once I enter that, I am now synced up. Uh, Pronto, the Pronto app will not log me out. And the user you see on the left and the user you see on the right is the exact same user. So if I were to navigate out to this same chat, so let me go into general biology. Now you're going to see the same chat kind of side by side. So I'm the same user, just to show you what the, the two kind of look like. So if, uh, if I say something in the web app, you know, see it show up right away. I can also type something out in my mobile app and send it. And you can see that the experience is virtually the same and native and easy to understand. It's quite intuitive. And I get all the same features and functionality in the web-based version as I do in the browser-based version. So I can see all of my groups. I can add in the same things, create a new group, send a direct message or a new task, just like I have here and the ability to kind of go live and um, show live video and have people join your live stream also is the same thing. So if I were to do it here, I can share my live video. And I've got my live video sharing here. So anybody else can kind of join in. I might decide to record this. And then this will be saved for anybody in the recording. And, that, and I can decide some of my options here. I can also see who's watching. So I'll go ahead and close this. That recording will be placed in there. And then I will also be able to do the same thing in mobile. So if I look at the Pronto app here in mobile, Maybe I'm in my general biology group and I can go live at the same time. You're going to see it's the same idea. And so hope this was helpful. As you can see, the Pronto app is quite powerful and easy to use. 
and uh, it doesn't take a lot of training. It's great to set up, and it really enables instructors and students interact with each other in a live chat focused way in real time, kind of what they're used to, without a lot of setup um, and kind of natively within that Blackboard experience.